what to expect come here. Um, there were a couple of things that happened in December that um, were kind of like, all right, Lord, we need something else. We need you to do something else. And we got here, we made it here. Um, but over the days, I didn't really know why I was here. I just knew we needed to be here. And the Holy Spirit started to deal with me in terms of my anger. And you guys probably heard me say up here that at some point I had become content with my anger. So I had made it into like a bitter friend. And the Holy Spirit revealed to me that that thing that I created inside of me was really blocking a lot of good things between me and my husband. And he is a good man. He is a good father and he is everything that I do need. Um, so I really felt the Holy Spirit dig inside of me, like let that thing go and let me replace it with something better. And I did. It was like I was in two different worlds, like darkness and light. I was going back and forth. And so once I started to let that go, the Holy Spirit started to deal with me more in terms of what was really going on. And the anger was coming from the fact that I was upset with him for something that he really didn't do. Um, if I'm honest, I, we've been going through a really hard infertility journey for four years. And um, when we first got married, um, I wanted to have, I didn't want to have children, right? But when I met him, I was like, God, we're going to have some kids. <laughs> he inspired a part of me. He ignited a part of me. He gave birth to a part of me that I didn't know was inside of me. And so when we got married, I wanted children. So he sparked that part inside of me. Mm -hmm. But when we started to fight through the fertility journey, it wasn't happen happening. I became mad at him for something that he didn't do. And so the Holy Spirit was revealing to me like, I just put the thought inside of you because you can do it and you're going to fulfill the promise through me to do it with him, but he's not the problem. So the Holy Spirit was just like peeling back layers, peeling back layers, and just telling me, hey, replace that thing that you have harnessed inside of you with my love again. Wow. And um, it has been hard. If you've ever walked through infertility, you know it's a hard thing. And we have battled through it. We have gone through every single thing. I have given every, I, I got to the point where I said, I don't have anything else to give. I felt as if nothing good was gonna come out of this body and nothing good was gonna come out of me, period. I was just really battling with it. And I wanted to fulfill this promise and I wanted to make him a father. But anyway, so God was dealing with me and just showed me how to let that thing go and um, just how to trust him again with that, and that it may not be in the, it's not going to be in the way that I think it's going to happen. It's not going to be in, you know, my timing, um, but it will happen. So, of course, you probably heard, was it night before, last night, when Lori was like, is anybody in here leaving for a baby? And I was like, it is me, you know, it's me. We are trying to get this baby here. And, um, they partnered with us and given us some words and um, took me back to the space in my mind that was filled with darkness that I forgot about and saw how the enemy had used that space against me again and again to prevent me from walking in life to have my children here. So again, I realized that I had to fight through that thing. And then it was kind of like, if I'm honest, when I was hearing the words, I was like, I've heard this before, I've heard that before. Okay, that's a familiar thought, that's a familiar prayer. Okay, how's it gonna happen, God? And I kid you not, so after we finished praying, it wasn't until I sat over there in my chair, I felt in the lower part of my belly, this. And I said, he's coming. <laughs> we have already named our child, his name is to be Isaac. And he's gonna come and we'll be able to laugh, yeah. and I'm gonna carry him for a turn, yeah. and he's gonna be in this room, and he's gonna be in this church. 
<laughs> Baby 